What's up everybody, I'm Brian from I Want Tesla and this video is about the live video we did Saturday. Karen's car got the version 10 update because we have full self-driving in that car. We went out and tested a few things with Summon, uh, the Smart Summon, and we went through and had some fun. We, we decided to do it live because we didn't have internet at home and figured, well, Let's do, do it live and maybe some of you guys can answer, ask some questions. That was an hour long video and I know a lot of people don't want to sit there for an hour to watch that. So great idea from a few subscribers. They said you should cut the video up into just the main portions of it. So that's what this video is. I hope you enjoy it. Leave your comments down below. If you watch the whole thing, you guys are awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, if you didn't, if you had to, get, if you had to jump off, the video was kind of laggy, um, and so is this. This is really pixelated because it was live. It was sent to, uh, since we didn't have Wi-Fi here, it was it was sent through cellular to YouTube, uh, and it was recorded through the YouTube app on Karen's phone. Let me know if you want us to do more live videos like that. Stay awesome, stay positive, and I'll catch you on the next one. That's the path it's predicted to go. Out, back out of the garage and turn to go out the driveway. So we're gonna try it again. So your iPhone app, so if your app does not look like Brian's, it means that you need to update your app. So you'd go to the app store and just like you would update any other app, you need to update your app. All right, so you can see it opened the garage itself. It's backing out of the garage. Good. Sound is good. Thanks for confirming that. Portugal. <laughs> Looks like it's backing up. Let's see what it... Oops, wrong way. Let's see here. And, oh my goodness, everybody. It just, cro it just closed the garage on its own. So I'm going to get up and follow it. I don't fall first. Okay, it sees the grass. So Brian's continuing to hold the button. It re-corrected itself when it thought it was going tree. to the grass. Is it in the grass? <laughs> oh, it tried to go in the grass, but it re-corrected it correct, it itself. Uh. Uh, it missed, it saw <laughs> the mailbox. So we wanted just to make mention to everybody, this is a beta. So there's been a lot of complaints. What's the point? Well, what's the point is this is a beta. Tesla wants us to test this so they can work on all the bugs. That's why we get updates. This is the only car that gets better with time, kind of like your iPhone. Thank you, Robert. We appreciate you. Contribution for the trunk idea. Oh, thank you. Couldn't so, get the pieces. If you need any help, let us know. The cool thing is it went out of the driveway into kind of a public street. This is a cul-de-sac. It's not a private, it's a private road. So there's no street lines or anything, but it went out of the driveway into the cul-de-sac, which is really cool. I didn't think it would do that. I thought it would stop here. Um, but it was able to go that far. So let me put the, let's put the- Timothy uh, has a question. Let me put this down the street more and see if it actually goes down the street. All right, we're re-pinpointing it. It's actually correcting itself and it's moving a little bit further. So it's driving down the street and actually looks kind of like it's trying to correct itself to stay on the right side of the street. It's going 5.8 miles an hour. So here in the U.S., if you're out of the U.S., we have drive on the right side of the street. So it looks like it's trying to correct itself and stay on the right side, but it is a little bit off to the center well, a little bit. It's hard to pinpoint where it's actually going. I just put a pinpoint. I don't know if you can zoom in. Yeah, you can't zoom into it. So it's pretty much right where it went. So let's bring it. Let's do this. Come to me. Let's see what happens. Uh, see if it backs into anybody's mailbox. So Brian's pushing the button that now says come to me. If you can see it on there on the app. Yeah, it doesn't look like a beta, but it is. You can tell it's a little bit squirrely. And now it's kind of driving in the middle of the road. That's why you it's test it. So if you are testing it, this is uh, obviously a private development. So there's no lines in the road. It's not a public road. So this is a, it's a dead end street. It's on a cul-de-sac. So, so it's very it safe. Follow us. So Brian is walking and, and the car is coming. The further he moves now, it's trying to back up here or it something. Actually... It's likely trying to back up and come towards Brian, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, Thanks, really Jesse. 
So it looks like it backed itself up and it's trying to come towards Brian, kind of like a... Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know that it would do this. Well, I'm just going to walk up the driveway. So it's actually coming towards Brian. It backed itself up and it wanted to come towards Brian head on, not keep, continue to back up. So that's pretty cool. See how it handles the curve? Handled the curve well. <laughs> yes, it is good. Holy crap, it's right. It's amazing. Yeah, Best beta impressive. ever, they said. That was very impressive. I'm, I, that is awesome. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to do that. I thought it was going to back into someone's or try to back into someone's grass and turn around. But I didn't think it was going to back up that far for that long. That was, so you can see, I'm going to put the pinpoint down there, kind of like where we were, and see if it'll back out of the driveway and then turn around and go all the way down there. Hey, Blinkst. Whoa. What happened? I don't think it's going to, it's like oh, it's, freaking out. It's, so you can see that it actually, it tells, it shows you the, um, it's one, the it's direction that it wants to go, but it wants to turn around. It's going forward. Oh, I better stop it. Yeah. We wanted to go down the hill into the neighbor's driveway and come out. <laughs> so, so what's next, Brian? We do have my garage for the show is down the hill. It's down behind the house. We have a, it's a walkout basement, so the garage is behind there. Um, we can go down there and see if it'll drive all the way up to the front of the driveway if you'd like. We can both be in the car. That's a cool thing. You can be in the car and actually do this. So we're back in the Summon app. And we're going to pinpoint a spot. Let's do it just in the main section of the driveway. The blue line, it wants to go in the woods. You can show them that way. You said don't drive in the pool. Yeah, we're not going to. All right, so I'm gonna have my foot hovering over the brake and my hand close. I'm gonna hold this down and be paying attention just in case. So here we go, I'm holding it down. The mirrors fold in. Why are we going backwards? I don't know, why are we going backwards? All right, I was oh. already confused. What's it trying to do? So the driveway's that way. Ah! All right. <laughs> it tried to run us, so I don't know if you guys can tell, this is kind of on a hill. So. We... I think it thinks that hill's a wall. Maybe. But let's do this. Let's put it all the way to the back so it doesn't have to back up. Thanks, Todd. That's funny. And. Yeah, we're trying not to go into the wood. Trying... Now the blue line looks a little bit better. Now let's see if we can figure it out. Again foot over the brake. It's going a little bit case. squirrely there. That wheel moves fast. It's trying to go five miles an hour, that's why. Now it's backing up again. So it's backing up. <laughs> back it up, back it up, back it up. Elon taught it good. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh -oh. nope, nope. It's trying uh -oh. to go off-roading. <laughs> You're right. <It> was. <laughs> Tech freak, it's trying to go off-roading. So we're going to get out of the car. We're going to go on the other side of those curbs. And I pulled in so it should back out to go around those now. And it should be pretty interesting. We're gonna get out of the car, so hopefully we'll have a better signal on the phone as well. So, yeah. We're gonna put the dot on the other side of these curbs right here. I'll put it just on the other side of the curb so it's almost in one of those parking spots. It wants to pull forward and turn around in the field, but that's a, it can't do it. So let's see what happens. It's not my car. Ah, uh ha, -huh, very funny. Oh, it's backing up already. Again, we're in a safe area. We're in a safe area. Here. Blink stats what I look like. If you watch my live video from so now it's gonna go this past weekend, curves. it went around the curves, everybody. Because the pinpoint is right on the other side there. Wow, that's pretty cool. It actually went around the curves. And it should be coming right over here, so I wonder if it's going it's to... It's trying to... Yeah, it's trying to back... It's going to back up, I think. It's got a mind of its own. This is so that's a, a pretty good summon. distance away from the car. This is just a normal summon, so it's backing up away from that car, and then we're gonna try to put it in that spot again. Yeah, we're on the East Coast. We're in North Carolina. I think that car messed it up a little bit. So we're in a parking lot. We're gonna do some testing. Be careful. We are, thank you very much. So, I'm going to walk in front, turn to me. Brian's going to walk in front and it looks like the car stopped immediately. So someone had asked, will it recognize a pedestrian? And it did. It stopped immediately when it saw Brian. And then it just corrected itself 
to go. It did hit you? It corrected itself. Now there's oncoming traffic and it's trying to pull over because it sees a car. How cool is that? It saw that car and it pulled over. <laughs> so. That's actually the spot I put it to. Oh, okay. So it, was, it wasn't turning over for that car. It would have stopped for that car, but it was, that was the pinpoint. And that guy was staring hard because there was no one driving it. But so, it would yes. hit me the second time. It didn't see me walking across and it was going too fast. Yes, you can stay inside. That's right. Thank you, official Viper. You can, you can stay inside. I'm going to put it in the same spot that we parked originally, but I'm going to walk in front of it again because it almost hit me the second time. It didn't see me. It was going way too fast. So Steve wanted to know where the I1 Tesla came from. It's because there's a story behind this. Brian wanted a Tesla ever since they opened. He bugged me for about two years to get him a Tesla. I said, no, no, we don't need that. You're being ridiculous. And when he said, well, let's just go test drive it. And if, if you absolutely hate the car, I'll never bug you again. I said, absolutely, I'm on, let's go. I got in the car, drove it one time and I was hooked. So we bought the car that day. So he said to me, I won because essentially he did win because he was right and I was wrong. So that's where I won Tesla came from. Summons it to the front of the store. Okay, I'll ask him. What happens if he walks on the other side? It stopped. It saw him when he walked back and forth in front of the car. So it's recorrecting itself and Brian had actually put the pinpoint right here. And I'm gonna put the pinpoint over to the door. I don't wanna do it right in front of the door because pedestrians, but that's where it's gonna go. It's we'll gonna be on the wrong side of the road though, if you do it there. You need to do it to the right side of the road. All right, yeah. that's the right side of the road. And go. So I'm gonna stay here and kind of watch it. Yeah. And I'm gonna yell and scream. It's our safety net, me. Yell and scream if it starts to hit another car. Does the Model X also control windows? My three has, yeah. Yes. So you can actually vent the windows now. So part of the new app upgrade. So we're summoning the car to the front of the building. We're actually being safe and walking not in front of the building because we want to make sure that it's, that we can stop it if it doesn't do right by. And it's kind of not going in the, I think it's confused already, honey. There it comes. So again, I, I must say this is a beta. I don't trust it yet. It's not sure where it's going either. Cause I want to see what happens when it comes out to this busy intersection here. And it's going pretty darn fast. Oh, it stopped slowly. I think it sees me, so it's pausing. Oh, you, that's where you pinned it to? All right. So as you can see, it did come to the spot that Brian pinned it to. It's not, um, it did stop and pause a couple of times. It is in the lane, which is great. But I still think, again, like I said, it's a beta. It's got some work to do.